After a shocking visit to the children's ministry, Pastor Jake hopes things will get better in the worship department. What's up? I'm Brandon Bishop. I'm the lead worship pastor here at the Hills Church. Hey. Hey, man, what's up, what's dude? Hot. Welcome to the worship team. This is incredible. Yeah, so I hear you're a vocalist, is that I'm right? A, I'm a singer. Yeah, I'm a singer. Yeah, yeah. vocalist. Okay. Anyway, come on, show you around. Okay. You know, the worst part about being a worship leader is that literally everybody that walks in these church doors think they deserve to be on the worship team. Jesus welcomed everyone, and I get that, but like, we don't. All right, so um, this is the green room where we literally just sit back here and do nothing during the sermons. Wow. I mean, we watch a little bit. Yeah, okay, because we're like spiritual inspiration and wisdom from the pastor. No, not that at (laughs) all. No, we just need to know when it's time to go back out on stage, you know? Wow, I figured everybody would be back here taking notes during the sermon, (laughs) getting the pastor. No, we usually just go to Starbucks. (laughs) Totally. (laughs) Okay, this is uh, different than I imagined. All right, I gotta be honest. The most difficult part of my job is just figuring out when to go back on stage after the sermon's over, okay? It's like, is he wrapping up? I literally have anxiety attacks when he's wrapping up the sermon. It's like, is he done yet? How many bullet points does this thing have, okay? (laughs) Should I go out there and play a little piano music or am I premature? It's like this giant game of double dutch that I just never win. I mean, I've literally never gotten it right one time. Maybe you can just go talk to him. You guys could work out a plan. Nah, that's not gonna work. No, I don't even think he knows what he's doing out there. Plus, now he wants to do new campuses. Okay, take the gospel to the ends of the earth. Yeah, we don't have the musicians that, okay? <laughs> it's like he wants Hillsong quality musicians on a kid's praise budget, and that just ain't gonna happen. We ain't got it. We don't have any talented musicians no. here? No, not even, no. Like, there's this one dude, Chris, who's like a vocalist. We don't even have his microphone on. Wow. I think he's been here for like two and a half years and literally has no idea. It's actually hilarious. So this is where we rehearse. Gotta yeah. be honest, we do not rehearse that much. <laughs> you know what, you should practice probably a little harder. You should take this job more seriously. It's we just pay three you chords. a lot of money. It's the okay. same three chords. So. Hey, Brandon, so, yeah. Pastor Jake wants his kid to do a rap intro again. Oh my <sighs> gosh. All right, I'll check planning center. <laughs> Honestly, I should just go work at Elevation. Okay, we've been trying to encourage Jacob in his art. He's not that bad. Okay, uh, the pastor's son thinks he's a rapper, 100% the least talented kid on the planet. So over here we have the LaCroix fridge. We got what, is, what, ex- what is this oh, exactly? That's Pastor Bingo. Yeah, I came up with that. Just a bunch of phrases that he says like all the time, like lean in and wrestle with and let's unpack that. We got a whole stack of these somewhere, I'll get you one. Coming up on Undercover Pastor, Pastor Jake poses as a church consultant to meet with an elder about what's really going on behind the curtains at the Hills Church. 